and Doug Coletta. Take a look at the weather conditions as we kick things off here. It's 87 degrees out there. It is still a beautiful day, just a little bit warmer than it was yesterday. Standard correction is 110. Density altitude, 4,135 feet. Water grains are 89.9, so it's a little warmer. It's a little wetter. It's going to be a smidge more difficult to make horsepower, but the Nitro guys can handle that. What they've got to handle is getting it down to the racetrack that is also a bit warmer out there than it was this morning. I am right now using mental telepathy to will those guys out from in front of the can that they just updated for me so I can tell you what the temperature is. So far that will isn't working, but I have better than will. I have Joe. Looks like one three. Come on, Joe, one three what? <laughs> Modern technology. This is a beautiful thing. One three oh, I think. One three oh it is. 130 degrees, the temperature of the concrete here. At Thunder Valley, so it's warming up a little bit. So we're going to have to be maybe just a little bit more careful with how we apply the power down there. Talked about the weather conditions, a little warmer, it's a little wetter. And that means these guys all have a little more compression, believe it or not. When you're tuning a nitro car, one of the things we talk about at nitro school on Saturday, if you've never been, next year come on Saturday, come to nitro school, trust me, you learn something. They tune the compression ratio of these cars to adjust to the weather. And you're trying to make the engine make the same power all the time. They want the engine to make the same power right now that it was making Friday night, and then they will adjust with the clutch, they will adjust with the timing, they will adjust with other things. The Mac tool, red line on, Paletta Motorsports car on the right side, number one qualifier with lane choice on the motor mile side. Terry McMillan, the Amelie car, left side. Doug blows the tires off early. Terry blows the tires off late. And how about Doug Coletta ran him down? 501, 248 miles an hour. Terry goes 510 on 147. 100 miles an hour difference at the finish line. Did you see the crew? That thing knocked the tires off and they all threw their hands up in the air. And then they saw Terry get in trouble. And I guarantee you, I know what they were thinking, Joe. They were thinking, we got Doug. Let him take care of business. We're asking Troy Fashing exactly that. You know your driver. You're never out of a race. Oh, no. Oh, no. With Doug Collette in the car, anything can happen. He's, a, he's the best driver out here. So, I mean, we're just real surprised that it did that. But Doug got us the win line. So, we'll go back, take a look at it, and hopefully make some adjustments for next round. Heading to the semis. Watching the crew was amazing. I'm not sure if we'll be able to see him on the replay or not, but when that thing smoked the tires, everybody just went, oh, man. Watch him from this angle. Watch the hands go up there. Oh, we're done. Wait a minute. Terry's having problems, too. Maybe we're not done. Now watch Doug close the gap 100 miles an hour faster at the finish line, and he won it by a couple of feet. Doug Coletta won that one with his right foot. There's the margin of victory. All right, about five feet. And remember, Doug is going 100 miles an hour faster than Terry McMillan. A super gas racer would say he took too much trite, but I'd say it was just right. Now, here's the interesting thing. The next interesting thing, we've seen lots of interesting things. Doug Coletta's team, Lane Choice, we're up here on the motor mile side of the racetrack. Dom Lagana, the Nitro Ninja, comes up now against Lex Jude. Dom has lane choice, and he is on the Fitzgerald side of the racetrack. 